This video is going to be all about the organ in your body that is 75% water, needs healthy fats to properly function, and contains about 100 billion neurons. Do you know what organ that is? It's your brain. The brain is divided into three main sections, hindbrain, midbrain, and forebrain. Let's start with the hindbrain. The hindbrain is this section and is made up of three parts, the medulla oblongata, pons, and cerebellum. The medulla oblongata controls several autonomic functions. Remember, autonomic means involuntary, so you're not consciously thinking about it. It controls your breathing, heart rate, constriction of blood vessels, digestion, and so on. The cerebellum is for coordination. It controls limb movements, balance, and muscle tone. It is practice limb movements that you don't have to think about anymore. You don't have to think about how to move your arm and fingers to pick up a pencil and start writing. You've practiced for years now. But have you ever watched a baby try to feed themselves? There is food everywhere, and they often miss their mouth completely or turn their hands really weird ways. They are not practiced yet, and the movements for eating are still being developed in the cerebellum. Lastly, the pons is the relay center between the medulla oblongata and the cerebellum. It's the bridge. The midbrain is located here. It controls eye and ear reflexes. The forebrain is the part we usually think of when we picture a brain. More specifically, you probably think of the cerebrum part of the forebrain. The cerebrum is the largest part of the brain and the most complex. It is divided into left and right sections called cerebral hemispheres. The left cerebral hemisphere controls the right side of your body, and the right cerebral hemisphere controls the left side. So communication between the hemispheres is very important. At your age, your hemispheres should have good communication. It is something you develop as a child. If a child's brain does not have good communication yet across the hemispheres, they will have to switch hands halfway through drawing a circle or a horizontal line. Early childhood educators are very good at helping children develop this brain communication. The cerebrum is made up of four lobes, the frontal lobe, parietal lobe, temporal lobe, and occipital lobe. The frontal lobe is located right at the front of the cerebrum. It is behind your forehead. The frontal lobe controls motor skills such as walking and speech, higher level thinking, language, reasoning, and personality. Damage to your frontal lobe will affect these. A great example of this is Phineas Gage. He was a railroad construction foreman in the 1800s. There was an accident where a large iron rod went through his head from the bottom of his left eye through the top. Part of his frontal lobe was destroyed, but amazingly he survived and lived 12 more years. However, it is said that he went from being a quiet, thoughtful, and dependable man before the accident to short-tempered, very undependable, and liked to swear a lot afterwards. The parietal lobe is this top middle section. It is responsible for processing your body's senses such as touch, pressure, and pain. The temporal lobe is this lower middle section above your ears. This lobe deals with hearing. It makes sense of pitches and sounds you hear, including speech. The occipital lobe is in the back of the cerebrum. It processes what you see. If you get hit hard in the back of the head, 
you sometimes see stars. That's because your occipital lobe, responsible for vision, was hit. Besides the cerebrum, there are a few other parts of the forebrain. Below the cerebrum is the thalamus. The thalamus interprets and coordinates information from your senses. Information from your senses comes here and then is sent to the right place in the cerebrum for further interpretation. Below the thalamus is the hypothalamus. The hypothalamus maintains your body's equilibrium. It regulates hunger, thirst, pleasure, rage, your body's thermostat, and other basic survival mechanisms. Well, there you have it, the major parts of the brain. Hopefully, your brain wasn't too overwhelmed learning all about itself today.